Hey guys, it's Tori. So today I am doing a fall collective haul. Um, I have a huge, huge Ulta box. I don't know if I've even ever had one this big, but I have Ulta, Sephora, ColourPop, all kinds of places. I don't even know. This is everything I bought since I did my last haul and my um, Cleveland vlog because that had a haul in it. So this is everything I bought since then, which is a lot of stuff, shocker. But when you are a makeup lover, you kind of spend a lot of money on makeup, which is kind of an unhealthy problem, but it's fine. So with all that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my face. And let's get into the haul. Okay, the first thing I have, I just want to showcase because it's the cutest fucking thing I've ever bought in my entire life. And look at it. It's a freaking little Halloween Squishmallow. And today's officially November 1st, which means it's officially Christmas time. But I had to showcase him and I named him Abu. I got him on Mercari because I couldn't find him anywhere. But I love him and he's just the cutest little thing and he just sits on my bed. So, that's probably like my favorite thing I bought. Now we have all kinds of makeup. Like, I'm not even going in any order. I'm just going to grab and show because there's just so many things and I bought them all at different times. And I don't even know where I got what from. So, first things first is the Ariana Grande God is a Woman perfume. I bought this as soon as it launched, of course. I think I literally sat there and waited. I think my boyfriend was even with me. It was like three in the morning or something. I ordered it, but it's really, really pretty packaging. Um, I haven't even used it yet just because I've been trying to finish up my uh, REM. It does smell really good. I forgot it smelled that good. I'm gonna have to start using this, but it like goes in and out of the little packaging. It's real pretty, smells real nice, real expensive, but we love it anyways. Um, I got that from Ulta. I also have the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. I bought this like two or three months ago and I still haven't tried it yet and I need to, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, Dose of Joe's loves this and so I want to love it as well. I just got the mini one, which is still expensive. I haven't even taken it out of the packaging to see how like little it is. It's tiny. Look how little that is. Like, look at it compared to me. It's minuscule. But I still want to try it at some point. I did pay for it. Um, so I also have the ABH Cream Bronzer in the shade Amber. A lot of these things you guys will have seen me uh, use in videos since I bought them, but then I also have a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of new stuff that I just got last week that I haven't filmed with yet because I have not had time to film. I've been way too busy to film anything. So I got this and you guys have seen me use this, but I really enjoy it. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is literally stunning. I do think it's kind of expensive, but um, I think that all makeup is expensive. So probably fine. I have another cream bronzer. This is the Soul Body um, Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Fair. This is obviously from ColourPop. And um, I, I don't know, I heard really good things about it for a long time and I never tried it. So finally I got it and I like it. It's good for when I'm fair. Right now I do have a tan, you probably cannot tell. I definitely feel like I do not look tan to you guys, but if you look at my hand compared to like my arm, like I have a tan right now because I had just had homecoming on Saturday on Halloween weekend. Just so great. Um, anyways, I have the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. Um, I like this a lot. Um, the good thing about doing like hauls like this where they're like accumulative hauls is that I can kind of give you guys my feedback. This is the shade 1N Neutral. Um, it just looks like this. 
the embossment was really pretty but obviously since i've used mine it got kind of messed up i bought this because um samantha march was obsessed with it and so was babs beauty i believe they both really liked it and so i really wanted to try it and i enjoy it so far i think it's pretty good i also have the lancome tinty doll ultra wear all over concealer uh the packaging is like super super cute i have the shade uh i think it's just ivory oh 90 shade 90. this is the lightest shade this is my day-to-day -day concealer as of ever since i bought it i think i bought it a couple weeks after it first came out and i did use this in a make in a video i think it was the one where i used the color pop it's a nude palette but uh, i really enjoy this concealer uh another concealer is the abh um, magic touch concealer this is the shade three which you would think would be like too dark but it's actually not too dark at all um i like this it's not as good as the lancome one but it's still good i feel like this one just creases a lot more on me than the lancome one I don't know if that's just me or what, but like I set it the same as I set every other concealer and I just feel like this crease is a lot more than the Lancome one. Next, I have the Beauty Bean X Shroud. It's freaking bats eyeshadow palette. This is the outside and then here's the inside. This palette is really, really pretty. I've only used it once and that was what I filmed with it, but I just seriously have not had the time to play with makeup because I've worked every single weekend for like over a month now. I just haven't had the time, but this is beautiful. Um, I love her. I would never get rid of her because it's Beauty Bean, which is now um, Batty Bean, I think. She changed her name, but that's that. Um, I did get some things sent to me from a couple of brands, so obviously dossier sent me some perfumes um i gave one of them to a friend because it was more her scent than mine and then the other one is just sitting um, right there and then pinkseo sent me some eyelashes which is this brand you can use my code to save some money um it's actually the eyelashes i'm wearing right now these are in the style silk elegance these are my favorite i love how just big they are but yet I can wear them with like a natural makeup like today. I'm obsessed with them. And then the brand called Aliver also reached out to me and asked if they could send me a few things. And if you remember when Michaela did um, like her, like the wine lipsticks, like they were in a little like wine bottle and you put them on, that's this brand. So they sent me their holiday kisses lipstick set and it comes with a valentine's day um i think this is saint patrick's day and then christmas i've worn the christmas one i wore it to homecoming it looked beautiful it stayed on all day did not come off it like dried down matte it wasn't drying i really 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 enjoyed it like i thought it was amazing anyways i have two concealers that they sent me but I don't think these are from their brand. This is from the Elemi, I think is how you say that. But they just sent me two concealers, one ivory and two naturals. So they sent me two concealers. And then they also sent me their um, color changing foundation. This I'm very interested to try. Um, I asked them to send me this because I need to know how this wizardry works. I'm just like very intrigued by it. I just don't understand like how you can have color changing foundation, but it's like white. Oh, interesting. I need to do a video on this when I like actually have time because um, I would play with it before school, but I don't want to go to school with like really crappy looking makeup just in case I don't like it. So I just kind of am currently waiting till I have time. Okay, so I put on some Jaclyn lip oil, which lately I've been obsessed with. Um, I don't even think you can get it anymore because it's sold out on Morphe. 
they just had their super sale which i will be showing a ton of products from but now i'm going to get into a bunch of eyeshadow palettes that i have accumulated um there is a abundance of them per usual because i buy way too many eyeshadow palettes but i've used most of them so that's a plus um, I have a couple from ColourPop. I have the ColourPop Lush Life eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. And then you open it, it looks like this. I haven't tried this one yet just because it's an older palette. Uh, I originally ordered this and it got stolen. So I reordered it. Um, but I just haven't played with this yet, and I'm going to eventually. I just haven't had the time. Um, I also bought the... Um, ColourPop Tinkerbell palette just because the inside is like actually so seriously pretty. I would love to do a look on this. I just haven't. So maybe for Christmas time, this would actually be like the perfect like green smoky eye. You know what I'm saying? And then the last ColourPop palette I have is the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. You guys saw me use this in a video. And I really, really like the look that I did. I used these more warmy tones. Um, I really want to get into the blues and the greens, but once again, I have had zero time to film at all. Next, I have my very first thing from Alien Cosmetics, and it's the Witching Hour palette. I bought this on my way to the Harry Styles concert that I went to, which was freaking amazing. I am currently in love with him now because of seeing him. I bought this when I was on my way home from the Harry Styles concert. It is so pretty. It's limited edition. Um, Alien Cosmetics, I have never tried before, but their palettes, I've heard amazing things about them. They are a small indie brand, but they are going to be rebranding soon. And this is a limited time palette. And I just thought it was like so pretty for fall and like a spooky season and it literally just got in the mail so i haven't used it yet but i'm so excited to play with it next we have the jacqueline hill divine neutrals palette with morphe you guys saw me use this in my um review and first impressions i also have used this a million times since i used this for homecoming the look was so pretty so i love this palette i definitely think it's worth the very small price you pay then I have the Blend Bunny Surge Palette, which you guys also should have seen my video on this. Um, love it, love the color story. Very happy that I have this in my collection now. And it's just really good. And then the last eyeshadow palette is the Beauty Bay Age of Opulence Palette. This was my last video. Um, I did a review and first impressions on this in a tutorial. So, if you want to see the look, go check that out, but this palette is very good for the very small price tag. Okay, so now I have everything else is from Ulta or Morphe. So, um, I got this little Ariana Grande, um, like, makeup bag thing for free because I bought the brand new brand new Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0 perfume. Um, I really wanted the free gift and I also smelled this in store and I loved it. So I decided to bite the bullet and just buy it. And I, yes, I know I already have the OG Cloud perfume, which you can literally see right there, but this one smells different. It does, I swear. It's just, it's amazing. I love Ari perfumes. I love Ari. I mean, look at, look at her. How could you not? Um, I have some Jaclyn Cosmetics things. I got the other blush palette from her because uh, Morphe was having a super sale and everything on their website was 50% off. Like literally everything. So I kind of went crazy and I don't have like any pink toned blushes really so i decided that i wanted this because it was on sale and because i literally am obsessed with jacqueline so 
I got this and it's beautiful. I haven't used it yet. I've literally not used any of my new stuff because I've been saving it to film this haul. And then obviously I want to do a full phase of testing new products for you guys and spoiler alert, a ton of new brushes. So that will be coming eventually. Um, I want to do a full face of Jaclyn Cosmetics when I review her holiday collection. I have two more of the things coming in the mail, but they weren't on Ulta yet. And I was like, oh, well, this is on Ulta, so I'm going to buy it from Ulta because I want my points. So I got the Pout Spoken Pear, and this is in the shade Unwrap Me, which is like a warm toned berry red, which I'm very excited about. The packaging is literally beautiful. And if you want either the shade Bow or Unwrap Me, you need to just buy it like this because this was $26. And if you buy the sets like together, like both the liquid lip and the lip liner, you would be spending like $40. So you basically are getting this for like such a good deal. This is the other free gift I got with my Ariana Cloud perfume. It's just a baby version of it. Um, I have a baby version of the um, Thank You Next perfume already, but I really, really wanted this just because I, I don't know. I don't really have a reason. I just wanted it because of how freaking cute that is. And it's like a little memento to Ariana, so I wanted that and it was free, so. Okay, I have just a couple of repurchases. I have the um, Maybelline Sky High Mascara in the shade Blackest Black. I'm sorry about my dog. She's being very obnoxious right now. And then I have the um, L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation Powder. I am like almost out of mine two packs of my makeup wipes because I constantly am running out because people always seem to use mine all the time. So I had to buy more of those. Um, I have more things from Dragon Cosmetics. I have the Dragon Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Coffee Cake because um, I wanted like all of the shades that I could get that I've been wanting but don't have. So these were like to finish off my collection of like shades that I would actually wear. And um, I also got the liquid lipstick in the shade Oh Hi. Oh Hi. That's how she says it. Oh Hi. I love it. It's so cute. But that's how she talks to her dogs. And um, I got that because they were 50% off on Morphe. And then I also have from Dragon Cosmetics the flannel liquid lipstick. I got this on Ulta because they're selling most of her holiday collection on there except for the face oil which i have coming in the mail and then i also have the lip lacquer in the shade cookies coming in the mail but i bought this because it just looked was like a really pretty color and i've been not having to wear a mask quite as much so i can actually wear lip products again so i wanted this for the holiday season and it has jacqueline um, lastly from Jacqueline Cosmetics, I have her brand new shimmer top coat in the shade Icicle. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a full face of Jacqueline Cosmetics and a first impressions on these at some point soon. I'm just waiting for those other two things to come in the mail, but that will be coming and I haven't tried any of these things yet. And then next I have the Good Molecules Overnight Exfoliating Treatment. Um, this is supposed to be a chemical exfoliant. And I get really, really dry skin in the winter time. So I thought that this would be perfect. And it's 71% water, which is kind of crazy. So I'm really excited to give that a go. And it's just my little Ulta bag. And then literally the biggest Ulta box ever. It's insane. Next, we have one of the most expensive things I bought. And this is the Rem Perfume gift set. Um, Rim is my favorite Ari perfume. I am almost completely out of mine, and so I needed a new one anyways, but she has these gift sets that are for the holidays, and I was like, okay, well, it comes with these cute little things, and it was like $2 more just to buy this than to buy, like, the perfume by itself, so I was like, why would I not just buy this, you know? Like, why would you not buy the big gift set, the big daddy? So... I did, and I'm so excited, and I can't wait to put this on display. Um, 
I'm gonna be getting more shelves soon. So I'm gonna be able to display more Ari and Jacqueline stuff finally soon. So I'm excited about that. Okay, everything else is from the Morphe Super Sale. Um, I bought a ton of brushes other than the brushes i bought the jacqueline blush palette and then her ohi liquid lip and the coffee cake lip liner those are all the things i bought from the super sale so now we just have a ton of brushes to get into so i have the morphe x jacqueline hill jh06 and this is the like my everything brush um i've heard amazing things about this it was 50 percent off so i bought it because i wanted it and then I also got the Jaclyn Hill um, JH39 Inner Corner Highlight Brush. I have a flat brush that I normally use for inner corner, but I thought it would be nice to have like a dedicated inner corner brush. You know what I mean? So then I have a Morphe M506. This is a tapered mini blender. I just wanted some more basic eye brushes that I could use on the daily, like things that are repurchases that I constantly am dirtying and that I don't wash my brushes enough to always have that brush so I wanted another one and then I already have two or three of these but I got I bought two more and these are the M124 firm shadow brushes and they are like a flat lid brush I use these constantly so I bought two new ones and then the last eyeshadow brush is the M431 Precision Pencil Crease Brush. I use a lot of um, pencil brushes and this one's made specifically for the creases, so I thought that that would just be nice to have. I have two base brushes. I have the E8 Detail Contour Brush. Um, Josephine uses this for her under eye concealer, so I've never used a brush for concealer before, but I would love to give it a go. So I picked this up. It was like $4 maybe, 50% off. So I picked it up and I'm excited to try it. And then the last individual brush I bought is the Morphe E48. And this is the mini pointed powder brush. I bought this specifically for under eye powder. Um, my powder brush is like super, super small. And so it's not very convenient. So I bought this so that I could powder my under eyes and brighten my under eyes really easily so yeah okay this is the very last thing I bought and this was very expensive I bought this on Ulta because I had a 20% off coupon and it finally had come back in stock and I just got these last week I haven't played with them yet because I'm waiting to use them in a video because I'm so excited but these are originally $98 and I paid I think like 78 or 76 or something so they're very expensive but I finally 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 after like five months of debating if I needed these bought the Morphe X Ariel box yes I bought the whole collection the very nice fancy expensive Kylie Jenner's makeup artist thing which I wasn't originally going to buy, but I watched just literally every YouTuber I watch uses these brushes and I just really, really, really wanted to have them. So this is what it looks like. Look at it, it's beautiful. Um, he has like a little saying thing that I don't care enough to read. And then he just has all of the brushes laid out in here. I've never seen a Morphe collection like set up like this where it comes in like a really pretty box and the brushes are just beautiful um there are five face brushes and seven eye brushes i believe but this one is technically an eye brush but i think i'd use it for highlighter it just seems way too big to me but i'm really really excited it also comes with a sponge but if you divide like the overall price by 13 each brush would be like 825 or something like that so it's really not that bad but that's everything um i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what i haven't filmed with yet that you absolutely must see a video on because i will do that for you you already know um let me just show you this ultra box keep in mind i had two of these i just condensed everything into one whoa 
I almost ate it, but look how freaking massive. Like, this is my head. This is the box. I had two of these come in the mail. And then like a bunch of little boxes for like my Morphe stuff and my Beauty Bay stuff. And, like, it was just so much. Anyways, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my face. Um, I hope you really enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye!